I challenge you. I challenge you. I brought my brother out to challenge him with the hay bike versus the electric. He forced me to come. Each of these costs $999. Some people would say $1,000. This is a straight on head to head then. It is. You probably know this brand because they're, they're actually one of the biggest sellers of e-bikes in the country. Never heard of them. Of course, I don't watch TV or listen to the radio or get out much. You're just a lonely man. I am. Okay, Ben, tell me about the speed. How many pedal assist levels do you have? I'm still trying to find out how to turn it on. <laughs> Here, I help you. Okay, there's the, there's the power. We're going to five. Five levels on the electric with a half twist throttle. The hay bike. One, two, three. Three. Now, the cool thing about this is that it has an app and you can change the pedal assist levels up to five if you want. We'll first do pedal assist five and then throttle. You had a, a faster jump off the line, which we're gonna talk about in, next in the acceleration test. And but you I, never caught me. I never caught you, but I once I like went full power, we were, you never separated from me. So we'll say same top speed. Right, with pedaling. However, when we did throttle, that was a different story. You, you was way back there. Oh, and losing ground. <laughs> I, I saw you look back after a while and I was probably what, good 20 yards behind you, 30 yards? Yeah. And you were still pulling away. So I basically destroyed you in that test, I feel. In that one, I I am still licking my wounds. Next test is acceleration. And I'm a little bit worried about this because I know that electric put extra thinking power thought into making this very responsive. Like the power hits right away. Engineering. Engineering, yes. That's a, a good thinking word. power. Thinking power. <laughs> First, we're gonna put it on the highest pedal assist level, gear one, and see which is fastest off the line. Let go of the brakes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I think I'm going to be uh, taking you on this one as well. I know you will be on this one. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was poppy. Oh, I got you again. I beat you again. Congratulations. <laughs> no, honestly, the pedal assist test, I did not think that I was gonna be faster. Throttle, I beat you as well. And we kind of suspected that or expected that. The next test is range. I've already done a range test with both models. With electric, I did a range test in the summertime with warmer weather. And as you know, cold weather does affect batteries it to does. some degree. My average speed was 25 miles per hour and my app recorded 15.30 miles with 962 feet of elevation gain. Uh, and I did take that till the bike was almost dead. Thank you for the demonstration. The hay bike, I rode this yesterday. It was weather like today. It was cloudy and cold. I had the same average speed of about 25 miles per hour. My app recorded 12.69 miles with 832 feet of elevation gain. So pretty close. When I got back, I checked the battery life and I still had four battery bars left. So I did See? not take it down all the way. Oh no, not at all. I could have got over 15 easy, I think with this in cool weather riding. Both of these bikes have a range rating of up to 45 miles. Let's go on to the last test, which is brake. With brakes, I've got dual disc with the hay bike and the right lever controls the rear brake, left lever the front, which is what you wanna see. And that's what I've got on mine as well. Same, but you actually have hydraulic brakes. So you've got some nicer oh. end brakes. I have a tail light on this. I hit the lever and it does flash. Do you have that? Is anything happening? No, nothing. Okay, that was not 20 and holy crap. Yeah, that, that was a very abrupt stop. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie. Was it smooth though? It happened too fast to gauge whether it was smooth or not. Ooh. I think you stopped quicker than I, I did. I think I did too. How fast were you going though? I like 17. The wind picked up, we're freezing. But we're gonna keep on filming because that's what we do. Yes, it is. Boom! Boom. I would say that I would favor the electric for brakes. You did win that test. Yeah. I wanna go off off-road, hit some bumps, test out the suspension, the fill, how it fits your frame, and then talk about that. So let's get all geared up more than what we already are and yeah. go for a ride. I enjoy my ride. Me not so much. Oh man, dude, this seat pole suspension kicks butt. Did you see me bouncing? No, but I can imagine. So let's switch bikes now, do that same stretch, and then we can talk about which gonna... we like better. 
We just got back from the suspension test. Which one do you like the best? <laughs> it, it, that's not even close. There was no washboards, but there were some ruts with some pretty good drops. Yeah. I hit that sitting on my seat on this one, about broke my caulking. <laughs> You what? Th that's the bone. Never mind. That one, I stayed on my butt the entire time. That spring on that seat is awesome. I didn't think it was like terrible with electric. I like the front fork of electric better, but the front fork on this with the seat post suspension was pretty cushy. We're gonna now go on the just a, a regular road and talk about the handling, balance, and just the Smoothness. overall feel yeah. of the bike. As far as balance, which did you like the best? I don't know that I noticed the difference between the two, to I was, be honest. I was gonna say the same thing. I, I really didn't. Yeah. To me, they both sound very good. Like, there's no right. cracking, no popping. I will say that the electric's motor is louder than the hay bikes. It has a buffeting motor, so you have that pulsating noise that you typically get. Oh. This one doesn't have that. You can still hear the motor with the hay bike, but it's not as loud as the electric. What about handling and, and how it fit your frame? Was it comfortable? Was there a difference between the two? The cockpit is really stretched out on this one. I, I felt it was like, I, I'm this feels weird. I don't know if I noticed it on that one. Yeah, it's definitely smaller here. It's easier to grab the grips with the hay bike than the electric. What are the biggest differences between the two? The tires. The electric has, what, 20 by three inch tires. This has your traditional 20 by four inch tire. It fits the frame well. I think so. And it does make it look a little bit cooler. I, it I does, it does look cool. This to me looks like a kid's bike. This looks like an adult bike. Both of these are foldable. They're adjustable. You can raise up the handlebars. Let's raise up both of them to the highest level and see which is higher. I'm actually seeing a bigger gap than on yours. Yeah, yours is higher. Mm, nice. I do are. like the grips on the electric better though. I they can just, have to agree with that they too. They feel nicer. They're a higher end grip. I think the biggest difference other than the grips is the throttle. You have a half twist with electric and a just a cheapy thumb with hay bike. And then the last thing that I just want to point out to you guys, if you haven't already noticed, is where the battery placement is at. Yeah, I noticed that. Battery is in the frame, so it's an internal battery, which aesthetically looks better. I like an internal I battery. So I think the look of electric for me, I like better. Here, you got a big old clunky thing underneath the saddle. To remove it, you do have to lift up the seat. Oh, but and it's then you got just... a cool lever button. Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's nice. Which one did you like the best? Oh, dude, this is sixes, but I'm gonna have to go with hay bike just because of the suspensions on the seat. That's what sold you, yeah, huh? Yeah, it is. Everything else is pretty comparable. Oh, it is. It is very close, but I, I'm leaning towards the hay bike as well. I just prefer a bike that tears off the line. That's that's one of the biggest selling points for me. Oh, I and agree. You have you have that here. If we're talking about pure raw power, the hay bike. Clearly hay bike. Uh-huh. Uh, that wraps up the review. Boom. Should we hug it out or something? No, or let's what? go get warm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>